Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group E second round match between Jay Leave and his unpainted Old World Alliance up against Misspell Tree with this lovely green and white Wood Elf team. Um, I can show you the table as it stands. Unsurprisingly, the Wood Elves both won their first game versus Old World Alliance and Lizardmen, respectively. And then this week we saw Strider beat Pybot 2-1 in a very close run game actually, but ultimately, you know, the the ability of the Wood Elves to get the ball is what decided that one. And so now with a win, Miss Tree will secure both her and Strider's qualification. Um, if it's a draw, things are dodgy. <laughs> uh, a draw will also qualify Strider. Um, Funnily enough, if J Leave wins, then Strider may not qualify because we could have a situation where Pybot loses all three and everybody wins two, loses one. So everyone, the other three people all win two, lose one. So it, it can be the the group can be completely decided for qualifiers if if Miss Beltree can beat J Leave. Of course, two popular people in the community, both streamers and uh, table toppers. And I can tell you how they qualified for this. Jay Leave is American and qualified through the TRBBL BB3 Season 2. And Miss Beltree is from the UK and qualified through the NAF Blood Bowl 3 Summer Qualifier. And uh, yeah, so super interesting. 11 players here for Tree. Gone for the Frenzy Dancer. Loves the Frenzy Dran Dancer. I'm not such a big fan of the Frenzy Dancer, but there you go. Um, oh, well, let me put the skill rings back on, well, positional rings. Uh, thrower here with leader. Uh, so normally you have two wrestle and two dodge, but lost a wrestle and a dodge to give this catcher guard. And I mean, like, guard is amazing, right? I'm not sure it's worth giving up two primaries for, but maybe. If anything is, guard is. Um, Jay Leave, on the other hand, has got Old World Alliance, which are indeed a rubbish team, but <laughs> they do get a lot more skills, right? They get like they get a lot more, they get more gold and they get more skills. And he's got a block ogre here. He's got three guards, a mighty blow. Uh, these these look like long beards, but aren't. They've got armbar and brawler instead of block and tackle. They've also got loner. They've all got loner, and it's just it's it's yeah. Um, <laughs> he's got a block catcher, he's got a tackle blitzer, block thrower, uh, wrestle lineman, and these two reserves are both halflings. So the thing with all the alliances, is, right, they're not a good team. But against elves, they're just a team, right? They're a bash team, and they're, they're basically, you know, kind of the same as humans, right? They're like a little bit more durable and about the same bashiness and, a, you know, a little bit slower. Like, so they're... They're a weird team. Versus Bash teams, I think they're bad. Actively bad. Uh, funnily enough, we, you know, there's similar rules to this for the Season 2 Finals. And both myself and Elliot both looked at using All World Alliance for that. And, you know, we saw how much guard we could have. And we saw, you know, we could have a dirty player, sneaky git. And we both thought about going this, but then we realised they're still All World Alliance. And, and that is the problem, that underneath all of these extra skills and extra money, they're still All World Alliance. But... Not so bad against Wood Elves. Um, I'm also particularly interested in this because I'll be playing against All World Alliance on Saturday in my round two match. So, um, as Elves again, so yeah. Instant knockdown. Tackle Blitz on the strength two seems okay, doesn't it? Mighty blow. Instant removal. Block here because it's the blitzer. Block gets the knockdown there for the ogre. So pretty successful turn one for J Leave. Not sure about that. Moving shuffling here. Um, but okay. Picks it up with a thrower.
It's a knockdown. Another casual death. Like, I, I... So, I don't... Don't know why Jerry put this guy out, right? Because this is... Oh, okay, there is a, it wasn't a Frenzy Dancer. Also, why didn't Drake Blitz with a Frenzy Dancer? But, like... You want to stop him getting frenzied, right? You you don't want this guy getting frenzied, so keep him back here so that you can't blitz with a frenzy, right? So he, he gave Tree the frenzy blitz, and then frenzy didn't, and then Tree didn't blitz with frenzy, but killed him. And uh, no apple, Cheerleaf keeps the apple. This, this I saw this I saw this um, live, and then I didn't see any more of the game. So <laughs> I I confidently declared this over as the. Uh, as the elves made a kaz and made my wonderful dinner a beautiful flat iron steak. But yeah, you know, all world alliance can beat elves the way any team can, right? Basing them and you know, you fail at one in thirty six. So so this is probably you know, one of the one of the games they can win. <laughs> If they get lucky, like they still got to get lucky because if they roll badly, they've got loner and they just get screwed. Like oh, there's so many things wrong with them, and not really anything right with them, right? Like <laughs> not really anything right with them. They've got lots of things wrong with them, and not really anything right with them. Uh, well, they have the package. They have the package for this tournament. They get more skills. Oh wow! Can't afford trainers though for his uh, troll slayer there. Two removals and one is permanent. Ooh. Has to blitz the wrestler. There's no real. Uh, well, yeah, there's no real alternative, was there? Just gonna stay in front. Don't get surfed by the Troll Slayer. Oh dear. That is unlucky. That is unlucky. There's not quite enough space for Jayleaf to run through here though. Right? Not really. I mean he's doing it anyway. But I don't think there's really enough space. Well, maybe there is. <laughs> maybe I'm a complete liar. Wait, was that armbar? No way. Nine armbar turned into armbar turned into Frankeo to a cast. <laughs> There you go. You saw it, the one in... I worked out more or less what the chance of armbar having an effect in a game is, and it's really low. It's like really, 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 really low. So that was, you know, I don't know, one in one in 50 or something that it had actually had an effect. So incredible, absolutely incredible. So we do only have one guard to make the cage corner because this guy's over here. Or oh, to three dice. <laughs> it's a triple score. <laughs> I feel like I would have kept up the guard corners, right? I would have kept the guard corners here, I think. If I could. Um, yeah, this was this is actually good by Jay Leave. I'll tell you why. Um, having all these players here, because otherwise Tree could put two players in here, blitz from here, and then chain the tree into there, who then punches this guy and gets a tree on the ball. Would have been glorious. I guess could still like put players there and there maybe, but it'd be a bit difficult, wouldn't it?
This is very strong, isn't it? Having like the wall here plus the cage. Only eight players for tree is going to be difficult to do things. Not even standing in the way. Okay, standing in the way a tiny bit. Now you can get this guard guy back in the cage. Maybe even switch. Maybe even switch to the sides. Get you further away from the tree. Oh. Yeah, so here we go. We've, we've, we've rejoined the guards. Yeah, I prefer Mighty Blow Blitzing the catcher for sure. Yeah, I like this. I do like three, yes. I, I really like three. I mean, I think maybe his tree shouldn't have exposed that one, but then it's hard, right? Because you've got, you don't, you don't want your leader to go. You definitely don't want your dancers to go. H cage, love it. Cheeky foul, don't love that. When your reserves are uh, halflings and you've already had a guy Oh, wait, maybe it's because there was a Frenzy hit on. Could have Frenzied and pushed him to there, then pushed him to there, but there was no there was no chain. I hate that foul. Your reserves are halflings, and you're already committed to one anyway. I hate the idea of having to field two halflings. Jesus. Okay, didn't stand that guy up, and now the tree blitz faces the ball. Did, did, this guy just didn't stand up, right? He wasn't stunned. No, he wasn't stunned. He just didn't stand. I think the problem with switching back this way is you're close to the tree, so you have to stand this guy. Oh, wait a minute, he just got blocked. Did he get blocked? No. Would have been blocked. I still think you have to stand him up and, and then get blocked. Right? And maybe not knocked over. But I quite like I quite like the tree blitz. I quite like the tree blitz. Uh, he's going to run away now. No players left. I mean, there are players left. There's still seven. Oh, Apple Apple worked on the uh, catcher. Blitz and a pow, and then run away. This, I don't like it just not being tight, right? This could just be in a tight cage. Why is this not a tight cage? There's like really no reason for it not to be a tight cage, other than to make it like unless you want the strip to come in. Well, it doesn't have to be a strip; it's a cat thrower. Unless you want the dancer to come in and hit you. Maybe, maybe, maybe he does. Maybe this was to tempt the the leap in. But it's so easy to lose. Yeah, or if just a four plus dodge, yeah. But a three plus leap, but tree rooted but on two players is uh not the end of the world, is it? Hey, makes a dodge. Probably should have stood this guy at first. And then dodged. Wow. All the dodges. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Jay Lee better at rolling dodges with dwarves than I am with elves. Just quietly. Have I mentioned that before? Wow. 
There you go, easy drive in the end for Jay Leaf despite taking the instant cars. Can slay the tree. This is a little bit greedy, isn't it? Because you could have just walked away from the tree. <laughs> you could have just walked away from the tree. <laughs> He feels the loner to re-roll the hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, World Alliance. Cosmic. This tree would, like, make the hit here. Because to, to do the hit, you've got to stand up the the line all I guess which isn't great but I mean if you do stand up the line all then you get a 2D on the uh, troll slayer mm -hmm. easy tuddy Yeah, two flings. I, I I hate that foul because of the two flings. Yeah. And it was just like on a catcher, like wasn't even doing anything. Really weird. Okay. Oh quick snap. So first so first of all <laughs> in this modern world of Blood Bowl twenty twenty. Um, you have to anticipate quick snaps, right? So you can put this dancer on the LOS so that if you get a quick snap, you can move it forward. So that that's number one thing about the one turn um, is you have to give yourself an option for the quick snap. So that was that was incorrect to not give yourself an option for the one turn. Now what what is the so the the play here is going to be to punch this ogre. Straight up, I guess. Follow, hopefully it doesn't rip itself. And then blitz this guy in using the uh, guard to chain him into there. So it's like a whole method without the whole, right? Because you're, um, the first block can be a pal. So it, it's essentially a whole, uh, it's a holeless hole, essentially. I'm not a big fan of using the frenzy at all here because it just means you've got to set up subsequent hits at the start. So I wouldn't even be using the Frenzy here at all. I'd just be using like Wrestle and then use the last Frenzy, frenzy as the last hit. Ah, oh, okay, so I've moved it around anyway. Oh wow, it's a brutal kick, unless it's a touchback. It is a touchback. Huge. Gets the power, that's good. But yeah, this this could have been a wrestler, right? Just to protect you. Um, and doesn't get the power. I mean does get doesn't get the push, sorry. I don't know why I thought this this tree had to punch. <laughs> and make the line. I thought I had to make the line here, but the line was made behind. I was just being stupid then. Disregard. Imagine I didn't say that sentence. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know, I wouldn't say there was much to say about it, J.D. Whitey. Yeah, the numbers in the picture just run. It's oh, a cheeky minus two. Right. So, yeah, I hate having to field these flings. 
placement for well, the, so the setup the setup was fine. The setup was fine. It was the it was the holeless hole. Um, but yeah, all right, fair enough. Like I don't know that it's the best thing to use the whole the hole as whole, but it's pretty good. This blitz is pretty impactful, isn't it? Flip me. Makes a three plus dodge. Gets the catcher under the ball. And catches it. Whoa, what a start. What a nightmare start for tree. Oh, I had the deep tree for the, the deep dacker. So it does get to strip it. Oh my god! <laughs> no way! Oh man, getting stripped and then catching your own bounce would be hilarious. Oh wow, Rush's galore here. Oh, to serve! Uh, well... I think... Would I would I have done this? I think after you know losing the ball, getting blitzed on, it's a choice, isn't it? The thing is like doing these doing these rushes, isn't it? Doing these rushes is like kind of the wild part. To do these rushes and then not have this guy just punching. No, no, I hate this. I hate this. You've just got to... Because you're using this... This lineman who would be punching this one to clear. No, okay, no, I hate this. I hate this from tree. Yep, yeah, yeah, you've got to recover the ball. Like, this just literally gives him the ball. No, that was... That was... Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that was bad. Might not be punished though. No. No problem. Just roll all the dice. Easy. Easy. <laughs> wow. That was like incredibly greasy. In greasy? That was incredibly greedy. Um, so I, I don't know. So that's the sort of play that I think you could do. If it was a dancer, if this was like a dancer, yes. If this is a dancer or if it's like, you know, a, uh, a like, you know, Add one plus uh, a, a underworld gutter runner. Yes, if it's a uh, bull centaur, maybe if you can do it, maybe right. Like or if it's morgue, I don't know. Like if it's a super impactful player, it's just a catcher. Like just just make sure of the ball. Yeah, I, I think definitely just making sure of an easy ball recovery would absolutely be my number one priority there. So it's the sort of play you'd do if you thought you're like not favoured and you need everything you can get to go right to have a chance. Um, by the way, it's still not easy to protect this dancer, right? If if you do it, you'd still then need another player to protect. Oh, I guess then you'd hand off to that dancer, right? This catcher would have then stood where the dancer is and handed off to the dancer. Yeah. I got away with it though, so. Without even using a reroll. But no, I wouldn't I wouldn't have considered it. I wouldn't have even like considered it as a possibility. Which, you know, maybe you should, right? Maybe you should consider it a possibility and then disregard it, but I wouldn't have even considered it. I would have just looked at clearing the ball and getting the ball. I might have just left him down as well, honestly, rather than trying to 5 plus 3 plus. Just leave him down for that turn. Yeah, I can 
switch to the other side. Not not a great switch, right? Because this this guy's uh, stunned and this guy's like you know, two plus in the way. But you do want to make use of the tree, so it makes sense. A blockless block. Hmm. I mean, nine players, nine players is uh, what you should be used to playing with Zelves, right? Like, it's not good. Obviously, but that's the reality of elves. So it's not like you know you only got six players or something and it's lost. Which, which in that case, the surf would have been kind of fine, right? If you're thinking, how the hell do I get back into this game? Oh, so here we go! Tackle hit on the dancer. Gets the full pow and a KO. Apple was already used on the catcher, so... Four plus dodge off the tree. Easy. Applies armbar to the war dancer. <laughs> Will armbar be useful? No. No, it won't, <laughs> is the answer. <laughs> Maybe should have just blitzed the halfling there, right? Oh, but going forward. It's turn 11. Doing some rushes to get forward. Versus halflings. Will the halflings go for the ball? Yeah, I think leave the dwarf on the tree, uh, just blitz a fling. I, would, I wouldn't have been in a rush yet to get forward, but I mean, the, the opportunity was there to get forward. Oh, that's, that's a bit rubbish. The problem with going in with the score now increases the chance of you losing, right? Can, can he even just hit with 2D here? He's got a tackle at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so, oh my god, he can easily hit. Wait, what the hell? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's two rushes to hit. <laughs> where, where was the last one that failed? Game, show me the last one that failed. Cutting corners to death. Hmm. Really had to try and get on the tackler here, right? Or, or get up to here. Yeah, so I like this even less now that I know that the tackler can just hit. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, seven players is not good, is it? Seven players is is panic mode. Certainly. But I mean it was eight last turn, which isn't so bad. Double rush, tackle hit, thank you very much. Oh, Shurans doesn't get it, catches it with catch. Flip me. Instant double one, okay, well. That was, that was a killer, wasn't it? The instant double one. Now, was there something better? Like maybe taking this dancer and doing something? Yes. Yeah, I think the dancer blitzes. Oh, no, he can't blitz. There's a screen there. God. 
bloody dwarf. Yeah, so the dancer can't do a whole lot. I guess the dancer could blitz this one, but then you really want the halfling. You can't really hit the halfling. This halfling's in a good little spot, isn't he? This halfling's in a good spot, just quietly. Tackles on this one. To score, your best bet is probably blitzing the wrestler and then 3 2 out and handing off to this and scoring. Maybe. I guess you could 2D the tree, but 2Ding with a tree sounds horrendous, way worse than whatever this plan was. Hmm. There we go. I mean, very unlucky to start with a double one, but I don't really know what the plan was there. And now the catch is instantly smashed to bits. Probably shouldn't have been by the thrower, though. Definitely, definitely should have had the ball in the thrower, right? A million percent, one nil up, versus a strip ball dancer. <laughs> you pick up on the thrower and not the catcher. Oh my god, halfling. Yes. Slayer fails Dauntless but rolls double pals. <laughs> okay, well. That's pretty... Pretty over, isn't it? It's not over. But I, I imagine this point is when Tree has tapped out mentally. Which shouldn't have, right? But, you know, that's it. Things happen in real life, don't they? And, uh, you know, professional sports people getting half a million pound a week don't always uh, give 110% all the way through a match, so... You can't blame grown-ups playing little children's game. <laughs> not, not being hyper-focused for the entirety of the match. Yeah, just giving up a little bit. You can foul this dancer with the uh, halfling afterwards as well, which is pretty nice, isn't it? Could have even re-rolled that. But man, boy do I hate not having the ball on the thrower. Oh, World Alliance, I'm not OP. <laughs> oh dear. That was... Uh Horrendous, wasn't it? Misclick. Misclick could have just stripped Dan. Could have just stripped the catcher, and maybe could have got the ball and scored. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, you'd think it was a thrower, <laughs> but after you've seen it be two dice. Um, it's a catcher, right? But yeah, just just a misclick. I don't know why it wasn't a thrower. I, like, I, I, that's wild to me that Jay Lee didn't get like the thrower to pick it up, right? Pick up on the thrower and like be as defensive as possible is the play for me. Here we go, halfling foul. Gets sent off, but does the job. Can this? Wood Elf touch. Well, it doesn't matter if it doesn't matter if it can. Uh, it kind of does. I just ends the turn. I mean, technically, right? The this could have ran back and touched the catcher, and then Jay Leave could have quad sculled, and then this could have powered the catcher into the corner. Ball could have gone up, 
and this thrower could have passed it to the catcher and could have scored. So it was like a one in a billion chance or something there. But yes, a little bit of tilt and uh, giving up and stuff, which is completely understandable, right? It's completely understandable because none of us are professionals getting paid a fortune to do this. It's just, it's just a bunch of nerds in their spare time playing a little children's game. So of course, things like that are going to happen. Um, so there you go, and a super, super great 2-0 win for Jay Leave there. Really blows this division open, as now Tree's on a win, Jay Leave's on a win. Strider is obviously way in the lead with two wins, but it's still possible, I mean very possible, that Tree beats him in the last round. And it's possible that Pybot wins versus Jay Leave. It's also possible that, you know, Strider beats Tree. And we have a three-way tie, all on one win, two losses. So anything can really happen in this group still. Super, super interesting. Um, very much not dead, Tree. I, I, not after the game. <laughs> that is when I tuned in and Tree was saying she's almost certainly out, which is not true at all, right? Because very, very easy to beat Strider in that game and even a draw will be pretty strong because it's not going to be easy for J. Leave at all versus Pivot in his third game. So there you go, set up for a thoroughly exciting third round. Uh, commiserations to Miss Peltry, congratulations to J. Leave. Thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.